Glenn Beck said, and we played the clips, that Ron Paul, with his money bomb, was, was planning to blow things up. Uh, he said that seven years ago. And we have that on tape. And then he said it again a few years later. And I played the clip. I'm not going to go over it again. But it was when he was on CNN. He knew the public didn't know what money bomb meant. And he said they're, they're trying to get money to blow things up a bomb. Uh, like Guy Fox. It's very dangerous. We need the Army to go after these Ron Paul supporters. Of course, you know what a money bomb is today. Everybody does cause, because it became so popular and lots of groups call it that. He's a master of lying to his audience. And that's why he's getting sued. And I want to believe he's a good guy because he does a lot of good work. But he knows the FEMA camps are real, the Emergency Centers Establishment Act, and the Civilian Inmate Labor Camp Program, and they don't call it a FEMA camp. Of course, he went searching for FEMA camps and didn't find them and went and found a fake Internet one that I even predicted he would go show. I mean, I just know how these people work. And still, I got upset about that. I got upset about all the rest of it. And I've just left it alone. But when somebody with 15 million listeners over the week and with all the rest of it sits there and day in, day out, week in, week out, frames what we stand for on this show, lies about us, it's very, very frustrating and frames what's going on with the Bundys and, and lies and says there's no Harry Reid connection to this and there's no Chinese connection. I mean, we have the BLM documents from last year where they said we've got to get Bundy off the property. You know, it's just like, oh, the government's not buying bullets, they're not buying armored vehicles, but you see the armored vehicles, the black uniforms, the helicopters, and they go, Alex is wrong. Only 150 million bullets were bought, AP. Yeah, in one purchase, you add them up, it was $2.6 Last time I counted them up, they play these games with you. And I understand that Glenn Beck says he's been threatened and he's scared and he's got all these former FBI guys that protect him and all the rest of it, whatever, okay? He goes out on the street and has like 30 bodyguards with him, literally. I go out on the street, nobody's with me because I'm not living in fear. They're going to set me up, they're going to kill me, it's in God's hands. So there's the difference. I don't even think Glenn Beck's a bad guy. I think he's scared to death watching him. Now, why am I getting into Glenn Beck right now? Well, I mean, I have to at this point. I mean, because this, this endangers me and my family to be framed like this. We're going to play the clips coming up. I started getting calls last week about this, and I just ignored it, didn't even look it up. And then Watson called me last night. It was like 1 o'clock in the morning his time, and he says, you got to watch this stuff. And I said, listen, I'm going exercising, and I'm going canoeing this afternoon. And I'm just not going to go watch it. And this morning he called me and he said, look at it. At like 7 a.m. So I went and looked at it. He goes, you got to respond. And I mean, there's, just, there's hours of it off and on. I, I can't watch it all. I don't have time for this. But it's basically, there's a group wants to have violence and war with the federal government and kill everybody. And that's Alex Jones. And you don't want to be with his group. And, and you, you want to be with the group. You know, not with the group, with this with the government, but the group in the middle, that's me. And he goes on to, to say that's where God's at, and, and that's where Martin Luther King's at, and that the Constitution's not God. God is in the middle, pointing at himself with neuro-linguistic programming. He's saying, I'm God. I mean, it's literal Jim Jones-type stuff. When you know psych warfare techniques. My psych warfare, te uh, psych warfare technique is just to be straight up and, and no holds barred, tell the truth. That's the original psych warfare technique is just tell the truth. Uh, but I'm watching it, and he's like, you don't want to be on the Alex Jones side that wants violence and killing. You want to be on the government side, as he's pointing to the other side. You want to be on the side with God, and he's pointing at himself. And everyone's sitting around him like he's a cult leader in this video. I mean, it's just freaky, man. Freaky, freaky. That's what I've been told by folks that really know Glenn Beck. They go, listen, Glenn Beck's not a government agent. This guy is, thinks he's God. I've been told that by four different people that know Glenn Beck well. They go, listen, you give him the wrong pin when he's at work. When he asks for a pin, you're fired on the spot. And they all sit there looking at him worshipfully, and he's wearing this weird, bright, striped, Judge Smales-type yuppie outfit, and his hair's all fake blonde now. And he's all, I mean, it's freaking weird, man. I mean, I, I, I it's literally like those Eastern yogi cult guys you see on the, Cable channels for the Californian people. 
I mean, it, it is just freaky, and he's saying, I want violence. When anyone that listens to the show knows it's the opposite, I, I am working around the clock to stop a civil war and have said, I don't want any offensive actions. And I've been criticized by some of the militia groups for not being, quote, hardcore enough. And that's on record. So, I mean, come on, Glenn. You're really getting into bad territory here. And if anything happens to me or something, you're going to be very liable. And I don't want to come after you financially and all that. I know it's a buck barrel of snakes. I don't, I don't have anything against you, Glenn. Glenn Beck, the prophet, God is giving me a plan. See, there's the headline. I mean, it's just insane. And, and, and again, God can give us all the plan, the Constitution, Bill of Rights. We can be inspired by God. But, no, it's all him, him, he, he. And then he lies. That's not a godly spirit about everybody that he's in competition with. Glenn, I'm not in competition with you. I've been more worldly in the past. God put it on my heart. I just felt moved to try to forgive everybody that's attacked me, and I forgive you. Okay, but I have to do this now. I'm going to have to get all the clips of you saying that Ron Paul, the money bomb, blow stuff up and use the army against Ron Paul supporters, and that, that's it.